MSM supplements and commonly asked questions. We created our first informational video on MSM over nine years ago, and it has recently become some of our top watched content. So we thought we'd give an updated version and review, answering some common questions about this potentially valuable sulfur-based supplement. Keep in mind that our video chapter timestamps are in the description box below if you'd like to jump to a desired topic of choice. What is MSM? MSM is short for the very long word methyl sulfonyl methane. Many of you may be familiar with the clear liquid solvent known as DMSO or dimethyl sulfone. White MSM chunks or powders are basically the water soluble crystalline form of this compound. Some even use the terms DMSO and MSM interchangeably, but they are a bit different. While MSM is for internal use, DMSO is designed for topical use only. Utilized as a dietary supplement, MSM has been around since the early 1980s. And of course, its popularity has continued to grow because of the evidence and testimonials supporting its main health benefits. What is an MSM supplement made of? MSM essentially offers a highly bioavailable form of the mineral sulfur. In scientific terms, MSM has the formula CH3-2SO2 and is also called organosulfur or organic compounds that contain sulfur. It is composed of about 34% sulfur, 34% oxygen, 26% carbon, and 6% hydrogen bonds. Why do we need sulfur? Humans need to consume dietary sulfur, and small amounts are typically found in a protein-rich diet as it is a component of the two amino acids methionine and cysteine. Common food sources include things like eggs, garlic, onions, cruciferous vegetables, and pasture-fed meats and dairy. There is, however, some speculation about whether or not we are on average getting adequate amounts of sulfur in the diet. This is due to conventional farming practices that use chemical fertilizers which decrease soil-based sulfur significantly. Also, sulfur gets degraded when heated, frozen, or when highly processed in foods. The amount of sulfur you may require is also dependent on your level of physical exertion, dietary habits, as well as age. For example, sulfur levels are known to drop the older we get when malnourished, or when the body is stressed. Enter MSM to balance this dietary equation. Science likewise validates that the concentration of sulfur in an MSM supplement is much higher than any food source. Regular or intermittent use is shown to be especially useful for the following top intertwining reasons. What are the top two benefits of MSM? Number one, joint health. Sulfur is an essential building block for joint and cartilage integrity. Therefore, one of MSM's most noteworthy attributes is as a nutritional supplement for the health and maintenance of the joints, bones, and connective tissue. A great attribute of MSM is that it is easy to assimilate, identified to have a rapid absorption rate as shown in some research. Number two, anti-inflammatory for pain management. MSM is an anti-inflammatory agent known to offer analgesic properties, especially in regard to the joints and age-related weaknesses such as arthritis. It's often combined with two other sulfur-containing supplements, chondroitin and glucosamine, for these issues. In a 2023 study on healthy participants, 2,000 milligrams or 2 grams of MSM divided into two daily doses was shown to improve mild pain in the knees. Likewise, in other science, three grams of MSM a day was proposed to lessen the discomfort and pain following strenuous exercise in young men tested. How do you use MSM? When it comes to an MSM supplement, it's important to start out slow and build up to higher amounts. 
It is available in capsule form, as larger crystalline chunks or as white powdered crystals. We personally prefer the powder, but the bitter taste can take some getting used to. Both the chunks and crystals dissolve easily in a glass of water, which should ideally be consumed on an empty stomach first thing in the morning or 30 minutes before or 2 hours after a meal. Further in this video, we will offer more info on average dosage amounts. Is it natural? DMSO and MSM naturally exist in the Earth's atmosphere and are major components in a process called the sulfur cycle. In short, this involves the conversion of atmospheric sulfur to DMSO and then to MSM, which is concentrated in water vapor, falls to the earth as rain, and taken in by plants. MSM supplements are initially made from dimethyl sulfoxide, or DMSO, which is a common byproduct of the wood pulp and paper making industry. MSM is created via the catalytic reaction between dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO, and hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. While it is laboratory processed, the powder or crystals are considered to be chemically identical to that found in nature. What does 99.9% .9 pure or Opti MSM mean? You may notice as you go shopping around for an MSM supplement that many brands use the term 99.9% .9 pure or Opti MSM. That's because MSM can be contaminated with heavy metals or various toxins from the DMSO it's made from or in processing facilities. Some supplements made in China have a notorious reputation for lower quality control standards. Hence the made in the USA marketing phrase. As with any supplement, there are cheaper versions and those of a higher quality. In regard to MSM, one main question is whether it is distilled or crystallized. Distillation is considered to be the best and only method for making a 99.9% .9 pure MSM product, meaning that trace amounts or 0.1% of the impure residues remain. The term Opti MSM designates the Bergstrom Nutrition patented form of MSM and always uses the purified distillation method. It is manufactured in the United States and has received grass status, generally recognized as safe. It can get quite a bit confusing because the distillation technique still produces MSM crystals, but it isn't crystallized. Crystallization is a cheaper method and can trap impurities and concentrate them. Some manufacturers these days are moving away from the term crystals on supplement descriptions using terms like MSM chunks, flakes, or powder. If you purchase a 99.9% .9 pure MSM or a product with the Opti MSM logo, it is always made using distillation and third-party tested. What is the appropriate dosage? More conservative doses suggest one half to one teaspoon. And we would agree that this is a good amount to start with if you are new to taking it. Slowly increase intake as your body gets used to it and you are not experiencing side effects like stomach upset or gas. Keep in mind that MSM is best measured in terms of milligrams or grams for complete accuracy because powders can range from coarse to fine. Capsules will specify the amount on product labels. When determining how much to supplement with, other factors should also be considered for finding the appropriate dosage. This may include body weight, current health issues, lifestyle habits, and level of daily physical activities. From most of the product labeling and research information that we came across, 1 to 2 grams once or twice a day seems to be the average therapeutic amount for mild issues. About 3 to 6 grams twice a day is usually considered a higher dose for more major conditions. Whatever dose you decide to use, don't take all of it at once, but divide it up throughout the day when the stomach is empty for maximum effectiveness. What are other reasons to take MSM? Dietary sulfur is also known as the beauty mineral, and increased intake can benefit the skin, hair, and nails. A pure quality MSM supplement can also support the body's natural detoxification processes 
and can help in the production and effectiveness of the master antioxidant known as glutathione. In some health circles, MSM is believed to act as a dissolver for calcification and or uric acid buildup in the joints, working to dissolve stiffness and improve flexibility. MSM can likewise enhance the potency of other antioxidants, such as vitamin E, C, and many other nutrients. Precautions At initial onset of MSM consumption, some people may experience nausea, flatulence, and slight detox reactions. Consult your healthcare professional before supplementing with MSM if taking any medications or if you have a serious medical condition. MSM is best avoided if pregnant or nursing. Thanks for watching! For more in depth info on MSM, as well as the best quality online sources, be sure and investigate the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure not to miss these additional informational videos.